Still haven't tried the Lockalicious All Natural Hair Care product line? Well, let's hear what the Lock community has to say about it. I love how how it sprays and how it feels, you guys. Like it feels so good. And it smells amazing, you guys. The Lock and Twist moisturizer was really good for me. The hydration mist was phenomenal. This is bomb, baby. I was really impressed, kind of blown away. And I think that if you're struggling, definitely go check them out. And check out the five-star reviews on our website. So, what are you waiting for? Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Angil Zalalem, bringing you this report. Today's report is about a groom that got arrested over robbery allegations and the police found him through his wedding pictures the flyers that they sent out for people to come and you know celebrate their wedding on november 13th let me review this article we'll come back and discuss a tricycle rider whose wedding was scheduled for saturday november 13th got arrested by police on wednesday after some arrested robbers named him as their gang leader Nigeria's Delta State Police Command picked up the suspect identified as Fristus in connection with an alleged armed robbery. Wedding posters bearing the photos of the suspects and his bride had already been circulated and passed around, stating that they would tie the knot Saturday, November 13th at the Baptist Church. However, following the confession by the arrested robbers, police officers tracked the tricycle rider and arrested him in his area. Well, at least justice is served if that indeed was the leader of that gang and he was robbing people and stealing from people. Obviously, he needs to face the justice system. But the unfortunate thing is I feel bad for the bride because I don't think she knew, but maybe she did. I don't know. The article didn't say anything about that. But if we assume that she didn't know, it, it's not going to be... Um, easy to accept one you find out that the man that you are going to marry is a thief and secondly your wedding is cancelled because it was supposed to be in a week and probably they've paid for the venues you know they've sent out invitation and spent money and it's just uh, it, I'm sure it's going to put a lot of uh, stress on the bride, but she could look at it in a positive light and say, okay, they saved me from marrying a crook, marrying someone that is going to cheat, lie, and steal. So, I mean, that's something at least she can look at and say, okay, I, I look at it as God saved me from marrying this criminal. So, yeah, that's that. But if she already knew... <laughs> I guess she was okay with him being a criminal so she's only going to be upset that the wedding is cancelled and he is going to go to jail actually he's already arrested but I think um, they need to collect evidence he needs to go to court and you know it's a whole process so I do not think she's going to see him anytime soon outside of a cell so yeah it's it's sad for her but you know good for the people that um, he has terrorized and stole from and abused so that's a good thing that's uh, justice being served it's just the way he was caught is really interesting because that's not something that you hear quite often a robber being caught because of his own flyer of you know wedding banner that they've given out to people so that they join them in church um in their ceremony but yeah good thing is he's caught as long as he did the crime he's gonna have to do the time and his wife or soon to be wife if she doesn't leave him already has to be patient and wait for his sentence to be over anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about the story i am angel zalala bringing you this report i'll see you on the next one bye Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it 
in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon.